I was scammed so many times. I have amazing stories about scamming that you would not believe. Long, long time ago, some of the girls in the stripper site uh, uh, connected me, started talking with me. And actually, she was very cute. And what she said just took me. She said, I don't want you to spend uh, time and money on the site. I like you. If you like, I will meet you. Just, you know, let's, let's arrange this. She was very cute, and she was not such a stripper. She was quite normal. We started to communicate. She was living in Zaporozhia, and three months later, I went to Zaporozhia and met her the first time. She brought her uh, translator. The meeting was terrible, terrible. I cannot have words about how terrible was this meeting. This lady was t- telling me all the, all the time about stories that she heard about Ukrainian ladies that were raped by tourists, and she's very afraid, and blah, blah, blah. I had communication with this lady. We started to be like, you know, friends, like not, not romantic, but friends gossiping and so on. We got a little serious about our communication. We started planning. She also brought her brought her translator, brought her gift, and then I was telling her, Okay, we have something together, we can we have a great start. Now uh, I will try to come to you in our big vacation. We have big vacation for a week in April. And then came the COVID. And during all the time of the COVID we were connected, we were talking and now uh, when we can meet, we can and in uh, August, the flights slowly came back, and I came to Zaporozhia. I met her. She was very pleased to see me. We had uh, several uh, dates together. And then she was looking uh, at her fingers, and uh, she told me, why, don't, why I don't see any evidence for your love? on my fingers. Then we have the big curfew in Israel. All flights were, uh, they, they, they closed the airport. I uh, bought a diamond ring. I made a special application to get out of the country. Uh, I told them, this is, uh, this is uh, the details of my uh, girlfriend. Uh, I want to propose to her and uh, I, maybe I will, I will get married. Please let me get out of Israel. I went there. I gave her the ring. She said yes. And then day after, we have a very good date. And then day after, she said she's six. And on the third date, she came to the hotel crying. She threw the ring and the, another jewelry I gave her and said, never, never uh, talk to me again. What I understand for her, that uh, I met her only eight times, and uh, how can I propose to her uh, so quickly and want her to go to another country? I'm crazy, I'm lunatic, and uh, I'm arrogant, and she never wants to hear anything about me. Then years pass. And suddenly there was war in Ukraine. Maybe I'll help, help Daria and show her her message. I sent her this message by Viper. Then I got back an answer. I am in Poland. I have been here for two days. I don't know what to do with myself. I am here with my with with my daughter. We do not have anything. I'm very confused. I told her, you have a, maybe you have a credit card. I will send you now some money. So I sent her $100. And uh, she said, thank you, of course. And we are talking all the time. And she's so glad that I call her and everything and everything. Then I told my boss, listen, my ex-girlfriend, she's in Poland. She's a refugee. Please give me a vacation. I will run to her and, and see that she's okay. So my boss said, fine, go. And, you know, it was the the beginning of the war. It was like 14 of merits. I met her, and the first thing she told me, she told me like this. I never was your girlfriend. I never was, uh, we were 
were never engaged. I was working with an agency that wanted to, to take your money. And I just did my job by pretending to be your girlfriend and do this oh connection. I don't God. know anything about you. I don't know anything about you. I don't know you. I, wa- I just was the face behind this communication. I do not know who, who was the real lady who talked to you or have this communication. I don't have a clue. And she said, I know you're very angry, but, but I, for six months, I don't work for this agency anymore. So I tell you, this is the truth about $10,000, $8,000, something mm-hmm. like this. She's quite, I say, professional uh, profiler. But in that time, I didn't know all that. 